Hey everyone, it's Grover Joe here, here to give you another lesson on financial planning. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my, that's me, Joe Bautista. I run the company called Grover Joe, which combines self-development coaching with financial planning. And this is something that's very important to me because growing up, I came from two poo collar workers. My dad is an immigrant from Mexico, worked in the fields. Uh, my mom was a cashier. And there's a lot of things that my parents didn't do right financially that caused me to like say, hey, what do I got to do to take control of my finances and everything? And a big thing with that is just having the right mindset. Now, I've been doing financial planning for about five and a half years now, coming up on six years. Time flies by fast. But this is what I found from doing financial planning with many of the folks. I find that there's two types of folks out there. You have, so these circles are going to represent somebody's income where we have person A and then we have person B over here. And then what happens with person A is whatever they make first, that's what they apply towards our financial plan. They're going to put in their savings account, they're going to put in their 401k, an IRA, a brokerage account, they're going to set them, pay themselves first, and then whatever's left over, they're going to spend the rest. And then you have person B who's going to spend everything and then save whatever's left over until the next paycheck. Now, obviously, person A is going to be more successful than person B because how, much, like, how likely is it for someone to have money left over at the end of the month? Not very likely. And I have this saying that I like to say is, if you're casual about your finances, you can end up a casualty. And the idea is you just have to learn how to pay yourself first. It takes a, it's a habit, um, but you wanna be like person A. And to help you be like person A, what I found is, um, you first you need to have your goals written down. You have to have a why for why you need to be like person A. And I found that some people have this money script where their parents weren't very good with money as kids and so they're savers. Or I have the same, or another kid had a same experience and now as adults, they just spend whatever because they don't know when the next time um, that money is gonna come in. So I better enjoy it right now while I can. So you first have to understand your goals. We're living longer than ever. Back in 1920, you lived until you were 55 years old, I believe, something like now, but some, somewhere around that time frame, like when they first did Social Security and it was paid out at age 62, well, the average life expectancy was age 59. So they didn't expect that many people to be on Social Security. And so the times have changed, and so the strategies that we need to, to live have also changed. So it was fine back in the day to be like person A because you you weren't living to 100 years old. Now the average life expectancy is around 80 years old. I believe it's 79 for women and 75, 76 for, for, for males. And so back in the day, person A was a fine strategy because you're like, okay, well, how much longer am I gonna live? I don't, I'm gonna work until I'm 55, 60 years old. And if I live a year later than that, then hey, no big deal. And I could be afford to be like person B. But like I said, times has changed. Every, for every five years we live, we can expect another two and a half years of life expectancy due to medical advances. So the key thing is we need to start switching to person A because life is changing. So we under, understand why we're going to be like person A. And then once you have your goals figured out, then you need to figure out the strategy to help you get you there. This is the how. So what percentage, so you're probably gonna have the how is, hey, I have my savings account for short-term goals and emergency fund, and then I have a brokerage account for midterm goals, and then I have my 401k and IRA to help me with my retirement goals. So those are different strategies, and then you can say, hey, I wanna put, invest this way with my 401k, Hey, this is how I want to invest with my brokerage account. Hey, this is where I want to place my money for my 
for my emergency fund, maybe a savings account or other short-term goals. You'd be like, hey, money markets are not giving that great a return. So maybe uh, I should go into something with more bonds in it. Uh, there's pros and cons for everything. So like always, please do your research before you make any changes with your financial plan or consult a professional like myself. And I'm, t- I'm accepting new clients. So uh, there'll be a link. Just go to growwithjoe.me slash start here and you can schedule your complimentary financial assessment. But once you have the strategy, then you need to figure out what's your plan. This is the what. So you are like, hey, I'm gonna save 10%. 5% is it gonna go into my savings account. The other 5% is gonna go into my 401k because I get the 5% match there. And this is your plan. And plans become obsolete as soon as you do it because financial plan is dynamic. It's not static. Things are always gonna change. Taxes are gonna go up. Some life event is gonna happen where you're gonna have to deal with that. You might have to switch to different jobs. We're here in COVID right now. So that is changing a lot of how we're operating now. But when you have a strategy, a plan and a goal, you're more likely to be successful because you're intentional about the whole process and you're more likely to get it done. But so this is the mindset we need to have is to be like person A. And once we're like person A, then we're gonna have more control over our life. If you saved up a million dollars for retirement, you're gonna be way better off than the person that saves nothing. Even if you save 250,000, 500,000, there's a lot of different strategies that you could use to help you live your best life. You have more options. And life is about having options and flexibility and control over your situation. If you don't wanna do this thing, then you need to have assets. Assets give you options. Uh, One of the options I plan to do is continue living in Latin America because it's so cheap and I can run my business from here and everything and live my best life. And there's things I like about Latin America. The healthcare system is pretty good here in in Colombia. Internet is fast. The weather is amazing. Food is good. Yeah, you're getting, a, I'm getting a lot of the amenities I would get in the United States here at a quarter of the price. So like, so I could probably live off social security here, but not in the United States. And but that's my fallback plan if the Grow With Joe business doesn't work out. It's been a year, so I'm gonna continue working on this thing and it takes five years, I'm on year one. And you just have my plan. My, what I apply to that, I'm applying it to my business as well. I have my goals. I know my strategies I have to use and I have a plan. And you could do this, at, apply the same concept at work with your, relate, trying to get a new relationship. Um, it sounds right, robotic, but plans work. Do, do not wing stuff, it hardly ever works out. Uh, you're more likely to fail. When you plan to fail, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I don't want you to fail, I don't want myself to fail. And that's why I'm creating these videos is to help raise awareness. So the key thing is be like person A, pay yourself first, and then you do that by having a goal, having a strategy, and then developing a plan. And if you need help with developing the plan and the strategy and helping with goal setting, um, you can schedule a complimentary meeting with me. Uh, You just go to growwithjoe.me slash start here, and you're going to get more information about what we're going to talk about, and then you can schedule that phone call or Zoom call with me myself. So hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And remember, if you go with Joe, you can grow with Joe because Joe knows dope. All right, take care.